How do you do? Welcome to Routus Review Time. Today we have Real American Bound Skeleton of God. So what we have here is a actually a release that is not a new but an old one. So let's take a look what this particular album is all about. So, Skeleton of God and Primordial Dominion. Before I show you the CD, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of this band. This is actually a, quite an old band which did their debut back in 1993. This US band hasn't been very active, so their second album took no less than about 15 years when they came back with 2008 with the album we have here called Primordial Dominion. Now you might ask why I'm reviewing this old album. It's after all nine years old by now. The reason is that this got a re-release uh, not too long time ago. Well actually a few months probably. But anyway it ended up with me just recently. So it's a re-release of 2008 album but the reason I'm uh, doing this review is actually because this uh, looks pretty nice. So, as you can see, it's a slip case, uh, jewel case, uh, which has a nice slip case here and then the actual CD. So let's unbox it. Inside, we have not just a booklet, but also a kind of a cover image which on the other side is just one page thingy. So in the booklet which I have not opened yet, I have no idea what's it inside, it unfolds as a sort of a poster as you can see and on the other side there are lyrics and the picture of the band members I don't know what they are doing in a cannabis field, but I guess that tells enough what this band is all about. And if we took, take a look at this um, CD, you can see more psychedelic stuff here. Not much on the down of the CD tray. So, Skeleton of God, US death metal, but not the way a uh, typical uh, US death metal is, uh, you know, doing their stuff. Meanwhile, Primordial Dominion is... Death metal is also kind of psychedelic. It's kind of progressive or at least experimental band. Uh, release, I mean. It is kind of like experimenting with the ideas of doing, you know, that groovy type of heavy death metal but also uh, trying to incorporate various ideas from uh, different genres. To put it in a way that kind of sums up the whole album is like trying to have a Jimi Hendrix feeling and doing Black Sabbath's uh, technical ecstasy album in a death metal way. But this ain't no Black Sabbath, this ain't no Jimi Hendrix. There is no Ozzy Osbourne's, you know, vocals that you can just instantly recognize. So, to me, with these mind-numbing riffs and really boring compositions, not to mention these kind of a mushy 1990s poor death metal sound, it sounds like this album has failed on so many levels. There are no single song which kind of would, you know, make it you know, worthwhile listening. There are no cool riffs, no just exquisite crawling vocals, or just anything that would, you know, rise this one even to a average level of what dead metal is all about. It's just like this is a demo that kind of overextended itself into being an experimental piece of death metal which should have you know, like, being kept in the drawer. 
I don't know why this became such a failure, but that's what this is all about. Nothing helps know these cool images or art cover or whatever. I don't know why, why this one category really is. To, in my uh, eyes or ears specifically, I think this is just a waste of time if you're looking for a death metal album. If psychedelic experimental stuff then again is your cup of tea, give it a shot. But otherwise, just no go. So a definite nope. As always, should you have comments, should you have rants or whatever, leave them on the comment boxes below or on our Facebook page and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Be back for next review. Bye.